Brand new Daniel James Future Stars Objectives has just been released and he is another one of those where you can actually upgrade to get his best version which is 86 rated with 98 pace so definitely a lot to be hyped about for this card and in this video I'm going to be going over all of the objectives, how to complete them as quickly as possible and are also answering some frequently asked questions about him, how does the SBC work, is it actually worth it and also how long is he available for. So just before we get into it, if you are new here, make sure that you do subscribe. I'm going to make lots more videos just like this one. Every single time a new weekly objective is released, I'm going to be making a video on it, how to actually do them as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible so you don't waste any of your time doing them and also clearing up any questions you guys do have on them. So getting straight into this video now, first of all, how long is he actually available? So we can actually see on the web app, he is actually here here until the end of this current season so when I'm currently making this video that is 38 days I'm not too sure why esports don't show it here on the console menus but we can actually see it on the companion app on the web app if you also check on this objective so taking a look now at the SBC what is the whole point of it basically esports made this so that you can actually put in your old card instead of discarding it and then at the end you do actually have a decision maybe if you don't like the Daniel James the 86 rated one the final version that you do get you can actually put him in submit him and you will be awarded with a 50k pack but it doesn't really seem like a good return on all of your time that you are going to be putting in but you can decide that later on it's just an option there that is why EA Sports have pretty much done it so all of these objectives can actually be done in squad battles that is quite important make sure that you don't do this in division rivals because it's just going to be a huge waste of your time it's not really even going to work so make sure that you are going to be doing it in squad battles and this is actually quite good because you might be able to get your icon swap objectives done at the same time so definitely try and do that multitasking doing this simultaneously it, it will be quite efficient so moving on now further into these objectives to get his first base version of 75 rated you just need to assist three goals using premier league players and you can actually do this on beginner difficulty in squad battles or foot friendlies whatever you find the easiest this is extremely easy to do EA Sports are not making this challenging at all all because it's just at the start and they just want to kind of like get you warmed up and then after that once you have his 75 you just need to score two goals and assist two goals and then you need to score in three separate matches and that is actually going to give you his 80 rated one and it does not specify which actually difficulty you do have to do it in so once again this can actually be done in squad battles beginner difficulty or foot friendlies whichever one you do find the easiest and once you actually get the 80 rated version you have to do on semi-pro difficulty all on squad battles of course score just one volley and score a chip shot that is what you're going to have to do you can do that in the same game but after this one it does get a bit more challenging and this is where it really starts picking up to get his 82 rated one you are going to have to score a low driven shot in four separate squad battle games and this is going to be on minimum professional difficulty so after that once you get his 82 rated version with that you are going to have to do on professional difficulty a assist five goals so that is going to get quite repetitive but if you can do that maybe in one game that should be quite easy and then on legendary difficulty you are going to have to score two goals in two separate wins so this is where it gets really difficult it's going to have to be two legendary wins and in each one you are going to have to score two goals with that Daniel James so that is going to be quite challenging and the next one is going to be on world class difficulty score and assist in eight games so that is going to be quite lengthy and that one is definitely going to take a lot of time at least eight games which is going to be keeping you actually having to do this for a lot longer and it is mainly going to be the last three objectives the professional difficulty assist five goals the legendary difficulty and this one actually eight games on world-class difficulty score and assist that is the main ones that are going to be taking the most amount of time but if you're actually smart with it for example with the world-class difficulty one when you are scoring and assisting in eight games that should actually you get done the professional difficulty assist five goals or automatically because it is only minimum difficulty do keep that in mind that esports are only advising when they do actually say the minimum difficulty that you should play on squad battles so if there are a few that say semi-pro or something like that it's still going to work if you do that on professional or world-class difficulty even legendary but of course it is a lot easier when you are doing it lower down but just keep that in mind maybe that is going to open up that you can actually do them whilst actually 
doing the icon swaps whilst doing a few of these at the same time so just keep that in mind if you guys do understand what I mean and that is going to be quite beneficial so the last one is actually going to be completing itself whilst you are doing the others it's just play 15 games with any version of Daniel James so this is definitely going to be completing itself you don't need to worry about it when you come back at it at the end it is most likely going to be completed if you guys do need any other help definitely comment down below and also let me know down in the comments are you going to be completing this card if you've already started it how far are you on it thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you next time